Hi everyone, greetings to you, peace and love. I greet you in peace and love, joy, prosperity, all the good, good things of God. I greet you this afternoon. These videos are for educational purposes, um, spiritual educational purpose. And um, I am going to play a video here. We are going to analyze it a little bit, just the surface. If it if it does um relate to your stories, you can do as I did and go and invest do your own investigation. But I am doing just I'm just touching the surface mostly for the people under me in the generation, both family lines that I was connected to, and we experienced these things in our family, and it had a lot, a lot of negative patterns. A lot of people suffered. A lot of children suffered. Young people I watched get destroyed and suffered, and it was very sad thing to see. And uh, my life was at risk. These same people, the elders in the family who was doing these evil things, they somehow realized that I was seeing things spiritually and they decided to kill me back in 2017, which set me off on a journey to understand the depth, you know, of these spiritual things because Growing up as a child, I will always say in all of my videos, most of them, from a child around six years old, I have been experiencing these things. And if these people did not come to kill me, I would not. Have, if I didn't go through that experience with these people coming to kill me and bringing me black evil shoes and all of these things, it was very draining. It was very hard. I came close to my death. But the Spirit of God kept me alive. And I know God did not keep me alive just to do nothing with all that knowledge and all that information. It was so that I can expose this and set the people in my direct generation so that they can have the knowledge and they can start getting help and set themselves free and break themselves off from the curses. And the people that I was connected to through my, um, you know, like ex-in-laws, I was close to these people and I did consider them as family. I did consider them as family, even though they were my in-laws and we was not blood related. I didn't have a difference. I loved everybody. I saw them all as family. So the children, what is involved, I know many of them, they are watching the videos. They will be able to see the negative patterns within the family. And for the ones who want to have a better life, they would be able to understand this thing, what is going on in the families. They will be able to understand it. And we, we as a family, as a generation of people will be able to break these curses going forward from our children. Now, let's get into the video. I don't want the video to, to, to be too long because I did say I'm just going to touch the surface because life is very, very busy at the moment. But this is my number one priority. This is my number one mission. My spiritual mission is this, to expose this thing and to set as much people free as possible, especially the people who are young, the young generation, the young ones, the young ones. They must have knowledge and they must change. They must change and, you know. So, yes, going into this video now, this is a video that a woman done from somewhere in Africa. This woman is. So I'm going to play the video for you all. And I want you all to listen to the video and I'm going to break it down a little bit. When she says things that I, I will repeat stuff that she is saying for the people of my family who do not understand how some of the African dialect is. You know, if you don't understand some of the things, I will um explain it as we go along. Be the reason I'm going to play this is because there is many people in my family and the ex-family-in-law. And there is a story that I did talk about previously. I said that my ex... um. My ex-man, who was from Ghana, he was a wizard. And uh, he was working with my ex-sister-in-laws, who, who they were witches. And they were doing all these rituals and all these things together. And my ex-sister-in-law never liked cats. 
But the wizard man who was doing all the rituals for her, they would have called him, you would call him a wizard or if I, I could call him also a Sanguma or a Obia man. The guy who was doing all the, you know, the rituals for this girl, he told her to paint her house in black and white and she was meant to get a cut. And she did get a cut, people. She did get a cut and she did paint the house in black and white. And soon after she got the cut, she ended up getting pregnant. And when she got pregnant, she ended up with a disabled baby. She ended up with a disabled baby. <laughs> right? So the the this thing, it, it works in different ways, you know. It works in different ways. Her money, my ex-sister-in-law, her money was meant to come through the disabled baby because we lived in the UK. We are still, I am still in the UK. She's in the UK also. The, the money was meant to come through the disabled baby because when you have a disabled baby in the UK, you can get many um, different benefits for that baby. You can get a disabled car from the government. You can get lots of money for that disabled baby. The more disabilities the baby have, the more money you get. That's how it goes in this country, the UK. So it's like a business people, you know, like how you can, how they have um, human organs for sale. It's like a business. It's like an evil business like that. They they make packs with the devil and they do certain things like that. And sometimes not uh, you see disabled children and stuff. The root of it sometimes, not all the times. OK, I'm not claiming all the times. Sometimes this is a disclaimer. Sometimes it's down to witchcraft people, down to witchcraft. I've seen it with my own eyes. These people is practicing serious witchcraft. Now, let's go to this video of this woman, Confession. Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of Muzanzi Confessions. Today, I am going to play you all of the voice notes that we received on WhatsApp. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hi. May I please be kept anonymous? Phew, I don't even know where to start. But at this moment, uh, my life is so hard. I went to Maputo, then I met this old man. He gave me umuti, like in Bahande. Then he was like, this was going to help me to make some money. How did we get there? I've been married to this guy. So they... So when she said the man, she speak that language, Dave, what she meant, he gave us something, right? A charm, obviously. So let's listen. This guy, they come from Soweto. Sorry. Let's listen. He gave her something, but she spoke in a different language there. I'm not too sure what she said, but continue. I got married, went to stay in something. Life was good up until my husband died. Found myself back home with the, my children who were used to this lavish life. Try to look for a job and there are no jobs, as you all know. Then somebody advised me, Guti, can you just go to Maputo? There's this old man who's going to help me. That person gave me directions and the phone number. I called the, the Mkulu and he was like, you can come. <sighs> so I went there. And the person who directed me told me, Whatever this guy is going to give you, it's not it's not going to demand any bloodshed. Nobody's gonna die. It's not a sacrifice. So I got there, I'm like, no, this is what I really want. Because I wanted something that is not going to make me sacrifice my daughter or my mother. Basically, like I said, I don't know if I said it. Um I was raised by a single mom, so my mom like an average life as so it would be a grand. No much. And yet I mean I was used to this lavish life. Okay, so fast forward, I go to Maputo. When I go to Maputo, I was I, I called, then I was given the directions, then I went there. As you get to Maputo, you know that it's difficult to communicate because they speak Portuguese. They don't even speak any English. So it was difficult, but anyway, I got there. As soon as I arrived, I saw this old man and he told me, and I asked him, 
<laughs> I don't know if you asked him, okay, we spoke. I told him that I wanted him to help me with Mutu Uzong, let the wooding be a mali, because guys, I'm sitting in the So, you know what he I don't, said, okay, I don't understand fine. what she said there, people, yeah? So I can't translate that one. Let's continue. Um, he told me, oh, to umutilo, imbandele, isn't it? It's not going to demand any bloodshed from anyone, from any of my family members. She's so translating. this is what exactly I was looking for. Then he told me, would take a packet. Nobody packet, anyone, take a packet, go and bath your private parts. So he told her to take a bucket, go and bath her private parts. And I think she was not meant to throw away the water. She was meant to bring back the water to him. Listen, people. With that bucket. So in the bucket there was water. So they said, do not throw away the water. Bring the water. So you guys, basically, I went in the bath. I, I washed my, my private parts. And, you know, that water, I didn't throw it away and I gave it to him. I never thought, Uji, I was giving him my DNA because this is stuff that is coming from me. So as we can see, people, they do it in many different ways. He told her to wash her private parts and bring the water. Sometimes they tell them to bring dirty panties, somebody dirty panty or your, or your husband pants or, or socks or shoes or put something in the food, or plant something by this tree and that tree. You see these stories, people, the more I do these videos and stuff, <laughs> it is so healing to me. I am putting the pieces of my life so together, and it is make, it's like walking. By The more I figure this out, is the more I am walking in the destiny that God had destined for me before all this witchcraft and stuff. Because this witchcraft is not easy. It set my life on such a path of terrible, terrible things in life before I could of reach to where I am now. And I got to thank the enemies and them because they help a lot in activating and getting me to this level. I gave God thanks for the enemies. I want them to stay alive till they can see what God is doing in my life and they can see the glory of God. I want them to stay alive. I don't wish them bad. I want them to get these messages and get help. I want their children also and my children also. I want us all to get help i want us because when you know the truth and when you have knowledge you can help yourself we are going to be set free by the truth sometimes the truth is not nice because these people are your loved ones these people are your families these people are mothers these people are our sisters but the truth is the truth and when we know that they are messing in these things we need to take a stand we cannot let everybody in the family go down only a fool would do that we've got to save some of the young generation we have got to save the young generation let's continue so i am very passionate about this very passionate because it is helping it is so helping me to fly higher so I know it will help the victims who are trapped, who is having all these sexual dreams in the night. And then the, their life, weeks after they have the dream, their life is a disaster. Things are happening that they cannot understand. Now you will be able to understand because we are getting knowledge and you will be able to put the pieces together. Because some of us have seen them with the cats. Some of us have seen them with painting up the black and white in the black and white. Some of us have seen the disaster disabled children some of us have seen the disabled child walking around like my ex ex, ex sister-in-law after she had got her cut and done her ritual she got a baby the baby who came out disabled and that baby used to walk around all day people withholding his willy all day like if the child was just possessed it was weird and when he wasn't holding his willy he used to try to open the door to get out let's continue to this woman's story but I am showing you all, especially for the people involved in the family of mines and the ex-in-laws, I am showing you all the connection so then you all could wipe out, go and wash all your face and make sure I could see good. Take all the ampi and let's see what's going on. 
and solve the problems and get out of denial and stop lying to ourselves. Come on, let's go on. Let's continue to this woman's story. Look like it's my DNA. Anyway, I bathed and I gave him the water. Then he said, you can go back home. When you get home, whatever you're going to see, don't chase it. Just play cool. Play cool. Yo, you guys. So now I'm thinking, what am I going to get home? He gave me imbandel as in money. Like, you know, a small bunch of imbandel. Then I went home. So my intake became the panel lane. Then I, I, I went straight into my mother's house because I was scared to go to the back room. But in below, here I be in Zimba, such that you mad. You don't know what to do. So basically, sometimes you're forced to do these things. So I I go there in Lini. I don't think we are forced to do these things here, yeah, people. Sometimes I think, this is just my opinion, it is greed. It is greed, I think. Greed and the love of material things. We always have a choice. We are not forced because I would love some nice new blemishes, but I am not forced to. It's a choice. It's a choice. What are you willing to do to get those um, those material stuff, those bling bling and this the big house and all these material? It's a choice. Nobody is forcing you. Nobody is putting a gun to her head. So I disagree that it's a um, you are forced. And this is my opinion on on that what she just said. Let's continue. I You know, deep down inside, I'm scared to go into my room. Okay, basically, I go to my back room, I open the door, and there's nothing in the room. Then I saw a cat. It was just a cat by my door. I'm like, oh. Maybe it's the cat, I don't know. So at night I thought I was gonna see the snake. No, there was no snake. It was a cat. I from there I was seeing this guy, you know, I was in love with this guy, I was seeing this guy, Mara we're not married, it was just a boyfriend, Nana, you know, because I should very part of England sometimes because we shall deal the manja of Satoli in Dabo Oxalad or Lapa. So if one in door danger, that man is a keeper in, is a keeper. So I went and saw the guy and I slept at his place. When I came back that night, I did not sleep. I found the kid very angry by the door, you guys. So the kid is angry as I go to sleep. Oh, the kid, like I'm dreaming. And then this kid, it was scratching me. It was scratching my back. Sure. Okay. That again. But Whenever I was sleeping, I would, I would dream the cat. It would come into my dreams to be having sex with me. Ah. But th Are you someone who lives and works in England and Wales? Do you have debts of over £6,000 you can't afford to repay? I thought, no, it was just dreams. I, from there, when I wake up, there's money in the house. No. In case you missed it, after she had done the ritual and washed her vagina and with the water and she took the water back to the witch doctor, the he done his ritual and he told her that when she goes home, she whatever she see, be friendly to it, you know, just mix and meddle with it, like whatever she see. So it could have been anything she would have seen. So she said when she did went to home, she was hanging about in the house, but with she mother, she was scared to go to her room. And when she did go to her room, she saw a cat, people, a cat. Let's continue. She slept with his cat as well, have sex with his cat as well. And after having sex, the cat came and scraped her in her back, had sex with her in her sleep. Next day, she wakes up and there is lots of money. That's what she said. Okay, people, let's continue. Lots of money, lots of money, US dollars, lots of it. Let's continue. Like, like the first time that I was selling something. So whenever I would 
put him in that alien. If you if you leave leave something like a thousand, we say we ten, fifteen thousand. So if you leave a five thousand, we say we twenty, twenty five, thirty thousand. You guys. So it could be ten, fifteen thousand. Then it gone. It it went up to twenty, twenty five thousand. Right? It the money is climbing. Okay. It was a lot of money. Yo, you guys know what he. I used to see the business day man like in Bilo. Yeah, I can't go back to no. We started having money. You know, I could even go and buy a car. I bought myself a car. Yo, everything was like it was flowing and. At least there was no bloodshed. There was no snake. I and my mother was wondering, "God, what are you doing now? Come back!" I am like you, Mama. I you shooting to the door to la. <laughs> like sometimes you just slide to your parents, you know. When you tie to them, parents and oh. <sighs> then I went back to Maputo. I, when I went to back to Maputo, I told like that old man, "Oh, Tim, eh, hey, Baba." Like the cat is scratching me, and sometimes it also. I also dream of the cat having sex with me. Then he was like, "Yeah, that's your new husband." Hey, yo. So which means that's why that cat was angry when I slept with that guy. So whenever I go on my periods, that cat will come and lick my blood. That cat comes and licks my blood. So. The cat, when she went back to the spiritual husband, to the witch doctor, when she went back to the witch doctor and tell the witch doctor that the cat comes in the night and scrape her back and have sex with her, the witch doctor let her know that is your new spiritual husband. So then she was able to put the piece together and, and realize that the night she went out and sleep with another man and came back to the house and the cat was mad. She understood that why the cat was mad because basically she was cheating on the cat let's continue the cat is a demon here yeah, people for those who do not really understand satan is deceiving he come in many ways and it's a demonic spirit that cat let's continue it's just disguised as a cat let's continue i am not supposed to put in past tense because it's still happening the cat comes and leaves oh. I missed that bit in case you didn't understand. She said the cat, when she ever she was on her period, the cat will come and lick her blood. Let's continue. My blood. Now, my problem is the cats are now. It's, it's, it's like, it's now two, three cats. Yeah, now the cats are multiplying people. You see how that devil is deceiving? He just needs to get one entrance. Once he get one entrance, that's it. They start bringing their cousin, their friend, their brother, and they're all demons. I'm just trying to make it funny for you all, you know, for the young ones to understand. Once they come in, yeah, it's like, hmm, they get fresh meat and they enjoy. And after they enjoy and they have you comfortable, they make you think it's just one cat you get to deal with. Next thing you know is seven and seven cats and three cats. Well, she counting for us, right? Let us see how much cats she going to be counting here. Could you imagine that, people? Could you imagine? Do you see that's why we should not be jealous of people with money? Because we do not know what these people is doing to get their wealth, and to maintain their wealth. And that is why some of them is so selfish. Because they are doing some real diabolical things to get their wealth. You know. Because could you just imagine that? I would freak out. One cat is bad enough. You tell me she is counting them. They are multiplying. They are multiplying. How do you sleep at night? I now can explain a lot of things in my life. When I was around my ex-in-laws who was messing in this nonsense, they could not sleep at night. Three, four o'clock every night, they would be sitting down talking people business, watching television, African movies with witchcraft, because I think they maybe was trying to get solution or they was trying to step up their game. But that's what they was doing. Just how I am studying this in order to free myself. They were also watching a lot of these movies. I don't I believe it was to, you know, strengthen themselves more in the wickedness. 
Let's continue, people. The cuts is multiplying. Let's see how much the cuts go go up to now. We started with one. See how the devil is this evening. Continue. The inner buyer corner every day is it's go it's like plus one plus two. By the end of the day, I pay time to do it on my own. Guys, there is no peace. There is no peace when we have seven kids that are sleeping with you. Seven cats that is sleeping with her. Seven cats that is sleeping with her. There is no peace. She's very wealthy, but she got to sleep with seven cats. Seven demonic cats. And they are coming to lick her blood as well. Or could you just imagine that? What this, what... Hmm. People... My my eldest sister, who was mixing up in this as well, she always used to tell us as well, she got seven spiritual husbands. I used to laugh. But this thing that is not a laugh. It is serious, people. Let's continue. We read seven cuts. A completion. A completion of cuts. Into you right now. It's the same. It will show I've got a heavy heart. Because of the love of money, this is undoable. Even if you're tired, you feel like I'm tired. I cannot be a human being that sleeps with kids. I am tired, but it's not traversable. These kids will only disappear when I reach menopause. Because there's no more blood to drink for me. Because when you get to menopause, you stop going for your people. She's saying that the cats will only disappear when she reaches menopause. And there's no more blood for them to drink or lick. You know, then you want, I won't be having any blood. Then after that, I'm going to be very sick. Then I die. They say there's no cure for this. Well, she said that um, the cuts is not going to go until she reaches menopause when there's no more blood. And then she's going to go very, very sick. And then she's gonna die, she said. If you if you if you do an agreement with the devil, there's no reverse gear. I don't know if there's anyone who can help me. She said if you do a um a thing with the devil, there is no reverse gear. Once you do a deal with the devil, she is saying there is no reverse gears. And she now is looking for help. She just said there's no reverse gears, but she's still, she still got hope because she's looking for help. So she still got hope. She should take that hope and go to God in prayer and fasting and repent and give away all the wealth. Stop enjoying the wealth. Give it away. Give it up and go and pray and fast um, from your heart genuinely. That is the advice I will give anybody who is in that situation to repent once you still have life and you got a bit of hope. Repent and go to God in fasting and prayers and fast genuinely from your heart and be like David. He will ans either answer or he will take you out. He will allow the devil to take you out or he will answer you. If he allow the devil to take you out, at least you might still be a halfway of a winner because you was repentful or you was repentant might be the best word to use. You all know I'm not too good in the English. Let's continue. But that's my story. All I can say is people, can you stop loving money? Sometimes life is so difficult. Stop loving money. She's giving good advice. Guys, can you just be patient? Because be God, patient, guys. She's giving good know. advice here. She said, be patient. Stop loving money, people. Be patient. She's giving good advice. Once you get in a deal with the devil, you cannot come out easily. Huh? Be patient. Stop you loving money no and material things. My mother and my family, they don't know what's happening to me. And the most painful thing is that my kids are still young. You see, her kids are still young and her family don't know what is going on. When you do know, they just get, they just want to kill you when you do know. Yes. 
the family and the children and most of the time doesn't know and when anybody when they realize somebody is uh, is knowing somebody is seeing somebody is waking up the veil is coming out of somebody's face then that person becomes a threat and they 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 can go for that person's life like the dead minds they came from a life not once not twice they tried a few times to take my life but god kept me for this day such a day like this day to do such videos like these videos yes and wake up the people in my generation let's continue she we are nearly there this means five years from now i go to keto menopause as soon as the blood stops coming out then the contract is over i will die <sighs> so she, at least she knows she's very educated about the about what she's in she said soon as the blood stop coming the contract is over soon as that blood stop flowing she said the contract is over a woman could go into menopause at any time. So you see the game that they are playing with you? Let's continue. I'm looking for help. Please, if you know anyone who can help me, you can leave a comment in the comment section. But what I know is that I'm going to die. Thank you. To anyone who's going to help me, thank you. Well, she have hope and she also have doubt because... Before she sung like she said something before and it sung hopeful. But she also have doubt because she thinks she's gonna die. I think. Thank you. Okay, people. So that's the end of that one. So this thing is not easy. But the more you get to understand it, the more you can free yourself. Remember the good scriptures say the truth will set us free. The truth will set us free. Uh, these things, listening to these videos and the experience that I had, and I know that many people in my circle, family and ex-in-laws also had these experiences where our people, our you know, elders was doing these things. And bringing all these charm in the house and we had spirits sleeping with us and we dreaming, we sleeping with trees and all these different things. We can understand now why, why, why we can put the pieces together. We can break generational curses that these things do not affect our children. Because if we allow it to affect our children, it will also affect their children and the cycle continues. We got to break it from here. Yeah. And with knowledge, we can, we can be saved with knowledge. We can save ourselves with knowledge. We can help ourselves with knowledge. So people, thanks for tuning in. I hope somebody, you know, can, some, whoever it relates to, they can, you know, get help for themselves and help yourself. For me, I didn't have no pastor or anybody pray over me to help myself. I'm still on my journey and I help myself through the word of God. That's and fasting. Prayers, fasting and the word of God. All the positive good words, you know. And uh, apply it to your life. And it's a personal journey between you and God. It's not an overnight journey. You don't get perfect in one day. Just keep on your journey. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on God. Don't worry about all the naysayers and yesayers. Everybody have a different mission. Moses had a mission. His mission was different to David's mission. David's mission was different to Joseph's mission. Everybody have a different mission. This is my mission that I am doing. I might not be doing it to please everybody, but it will. it's sufficient enough. The information is sufficient enough to help many people in my generation and extended. So God bless people. I leave you in peace and love. Do pray and keep yourself blessed and safe and have no fear because God did not give us a spirit of fear. The only time you should have fear is when you're doing evil. That's the only time you should have fear. If you're not doing evil, 
and you're a good person, you're repentant, you're, you know, living a decent life, trying your best to do the right thing, then you've got nothing to be fearful of. People, y'all, be careful what all you eat. Be careful who all you eat from. Be careful of your dirty underwear, people. Be careful, be careful, be careful, people. Okay, stay awake. Be careful. Stay alert. 2023 onward. You, we, we waking up, okay? This generation is waking up. I say bye.